today I'm here to send a very clear message to those road users this weekend who are making poor decisions. Behind me here on Hackney Road and right across the uh, metropolitan Adelaide and state, we're going to be seeing Operation Safe Long Weekend. Because every October Long Weekend we see a tragic loss of life on our roads. Six, long, six lost lives in just recent years. Now we know that every single road death is preventable and every single decision that people take on our roads is a decision that could mean the difference between getting home alive and getting home in pieces. There are very simple things that people can do to get home safe and ensure that not only them but their loved ones do as well. Wear a seatbelt. Don't drive while being distracted and don't undertake dangerous activities. Do not drink and drive, because if you drink and drive, you're going to get caught. We're all familiar with a very poignant ad, but let me just repeat this again today. If you drive whilst drunk, you're a selfish prick. We don't want people to be taking decisions on our roads that are going to be making you, your loved ones, or anyone else for that matter, compromising this long weekend. I'm here with, with Bob Gray, who's going to say, talk a little bit more about the operational considerations that are being taken and happy to take any questions after that. Thank you Minister. Commencing at midnight tonight and concluding at midnight on Monday, the South Australian Police will be conducting Operation Safe Long Weekend. It will be an operation focusing on dangerous road behaviour that contributes the most to lives lost on our roads and serious injury crashes. That behaviour will include things like drink and drug driving, speeding, seatbelts, distraction and dangerous road users. As the Minister has told you, in the past five years, six people have lost their lives on the October long weekend, five of those in regional South Australia. 37 people have been seriously injured and their quality of life significantly impacted. That doesn't need to be the case. I'd be asking for the community to help SAPOL make sure that everybody has a safe long weekend, be responsible, make good decisions. If you're leaving the metropolitan Adelaide, make sure that you're rested make sure that you're patient and just make sure that you're considering if you make a bad decision who you could leave behind. In the last five years we haven't. Are there specific roads um, outside of the Adelaide metropolitan area that you're being targeted? It's a statewide operation so we'll have our resources where they need to be, when they need to be there to make people as safe as possible. It'll be, it'll be right across the state. It'll be an intense police operation because we want everybody to have a good long weekend and to come home to the ones they love safely. Well, currently, year to date, 70% of our fatalities have occurred in regional South Australia. And tragically, that's a trend that is pretty consistent if you look over the last five years. So I'll reiterate, if you're using regional roads, just make sure that you're well rested, that you're making good decisions, and be patient. Do you expect the roads to be busier I would expect the roads to be significantly busier, particularly in regional South Australia this weekend. My reaction to seeing that video of a vehicle overtaking a B-double truck uh, when it wasn't appropriate to do so and nearly impacting with a vehicle coming the other way is that not only is that person a selfish and irresponsible road user, but it's very fortunate for that person that he didn't collide with the vehicle coming in the other direction because people un need to understand that if you kill somebody in a car and the circumstances are correct, you're committing a criminal offence that can attract life imprisonment. So people need to reflect on that when they're making decisions to save a couple of seconds or to get where they want to go a little bit quicker. Um, the impact on you and other people can be catastrophic. And how close was that to being, to being ahead of that? Oh, it was extremely close. There was, um, it was good luck that that didn't occur. And yeah, what's your message to people who are thinking about overtaking on country roads at that speed? My message to people generally is that you need to make 
responsible and reliable decisions when you're driving a motor vehicle, whether you're driving in the metropolitan area or whether you're driving in regional South Australia. Clearly, if you're driving it in regional South Australia, things are happening a lot quicker, you're travelling at higher speeds and you need to give that consideration. And the simple message is, if it's not safe to undertake the manoeuvre that you're thinking about, simply don't do it.